Hi, welcome to the podcast on happiness, trying to find happiness in our day, especially when things are going to crap. I want to talk about the type of happiness that we can get from doing things. I have done just recently one on giving things, but this is on doing things. And there's two ways we do things. We do things for ourselves and we do things for other people. And they can both give us happiness. When we do things, we're sort of in the zone, aren't we? And we can be sort of happy and shut things out. So if you're at Zumba class or perhaps you're watching some really bad TV, but you love the soap and you're enjoying it and you're eating popcorn, while you're in that place of doing, you actually are happy in that place. And I want you to try and look at making more of these places the doing place. The doing place can be two things. It can become a doing place that gives you pleasure. It could be going out for a nice restaurant, cooking your favourite biscuits and then sitting and eating them. It could be being in the garden and just enjoying the garden or going to the beach. It can also be doing things that are bugging you, that are actually making you unhappy, like cleaning the fridge. <laughs> or sweeping all the stuff out the back so it looks tidy, or redoing your bedroom, or sorting out your clothes. This kind of doing can also bring your, you happiness. You might not feel extreme happiness when you clean the fridge, but you will really feel happy after you clean the fridge. And these things will actually bring you happiness because they're actually making you a little bit stressed and a little unhappy. I want you to make a list of all the things that make you happy, that you do. What are the things that you do that make you happy? And what are the things now that because you're not feeling so good or you're struggling, that you are now thinking about what can I do to make myself happy so I'm going to write the list down. Now, there will be a list of things that you're probably doing at the time of this tape. However, there will be things that used to make you happy, but you don't do those anymore. And I want to see if you can try and bring those back into your life, even if it's only for five or ten minutes of doing it. Maybe you used to paint and you don't paint anymore. Perhaps you used to do yoga but now you just can't be bothered. <laughs> Therefore, I just want you to do like five minutes of yoga stretches and that's all for today. And then maybe another day you do six minutes to build it up slowly so you're going into that happy place and doing something. When we do things, we also feel like we're productive and somewhat successful and that, that can make you feel happy as well to do things in that way. I want you to make your list the, the list of things that make you happy that you do and the things that you don't like doing but when you do them make you happy. And these lists you can go to your go-to list. You can stick it on the fridge if you want to or just have it on your phone just to remind yourself that when you're finding trying to find some more happiness, just go and do that. Go to the garden shop and buy yourself an orchid. If that's what makes you happy, go and do that. It's not going to change your entire world. I mean, things might be falling around you, but in that moment of buying the orchid and the pleasure of it, and the energy, the good energy that's with that orchid, that will help too. You could also do things for other people. This kind of crosses over into giving to some degree. So if you do things for other people, that will actually be helpful for them. That can actually make you happy. Perhaps your next door neighbour needs you to go to the shop for them when you go to the shop and do a short order for them. Maybe your mum needs you to be on the phone. So she can just talk and have some company because she's lonely. You're doing that for her. Perhaps you are making a cake for someone and doing it for them. The doing part's very important because doing is an active word, just like love is an action word. And when we do, it can bring more happiness into our life. When we don't do, I think it makes us get a bit stuck. I think we sort of get a bit paralysed and get stuck in our own stuff. And that's also a big sign of feeling depressed or unhappy, or super stressed, is that you can't go to those places that normally would have made you feel happy even in the moment. You are allowed to be happy. Even if your mum has died and you've just lost your job and you've just been divorced and you're devastated and someone's betrayed you and broken your heart, you can still be happy in the day at some parts. It won't be an underground happiness that is with you all day. Of course it won't but it will be happiness in that time, in that moment. And let yourself watch some funny videos on YouTube or a funny movie and take you to another place where you're laughing because you're doing something that then make, makes you kind of happy and makes you feel good. We all are wanting to be happy. This is what the human strives for. The two things I think are very big in our world is love and then happiness. When we have lost love or we don't have love, 
um, I feel that we then need to put love into our lives by doing things that we love and, and bring love to our heart to do it and also to engage in activities that we're a little bit absorbed in so we're not thinking about something else and that's what I want you to also think of when you're doing certain things and you're in that, I call it the zone, in that mindful place, you're actually happy in that place and that actually changes your aura, that changes your mindset. Well, actually for a while your body's having a little bit of a rest from whatever else is happening in your life. It's not avoidance, it's nourishment. You're not avoiding the fact that perhaps you're not feeling so great lately. You're not avoiding that. You know that. <laughs> you know that every day. What you're doing is you're nourishing yourself. You're like feeding yourself happiness. It's like it's a little energetic food that you're giving to yourself. So I want you to start filling yourself up and being present when you're doing it. So you're doing it and you're happy and you're present. There's like a few parts of it then. You have to be like really mindful as they say that you're happy right now and this is really great and I'm really enjoying this. Being around pets and, and animals and nature and children and people that you love, these will always make you do for them. You'll be doing stuff with them. You'll be engaging with them and that will bring you great happiness as well. It's the doing if you've got uh, children or grandchildren, mums and dads and brothers and sisters and you're doing something for them then you will feel happy because you're doing it that for them at this time. The doing is the word we're talking about. You actually have to do it. You can't just think about it. It's no good sort of sitting in your bed looking out the window, um, not doing it. Go and get the ice cream out the fridge. If you've got your favourite ice cream and you're going to watch some something, a movie that you really loved and you're going to watch it again, go and get it, set it all up, make your happy time. And do that for yourself. It's about doing. And there's an emotion in there. There's like a movement in it when you're doing. Doing is usually moving. So you're not only moving your mind and your heart. You're often always moving your body. Go for a walk for 10 minutes. Just do it like automatic. Make yourself go and do it. And once you get out there and the birds are twittering and, you know, you see the dogs running and people walk past and say hello, you'll be generating happiness for yourself. Because we, we are a happy generator that's what we're trying to do we're trying to generate happiness for us and then happiness for other people the doing is something i feel that is very powerful it's also very active and it's also very like a proactive thing to do for your emotional health and your psychological and mental health because these really affect us a lot how we're feeling will affect how our day is so the more we can inject doing things that bring us joy and happiness the better our day will be. If you can't do many of these things at the beginning because you're feeling really so bad, I just suggest you just do one. If you want to clean the fridge because you know that will make you feel better afterwards, do that. Or maybe tidy up the bit of the shed, the corner of the shed. And make it short. Make everything really short at the beginning. If you're on this getting happy thing, you also have to teach yourself how to do it. So don't not put any pressure like, I have to do a 45-minute walk. No, you don't do that. You just say, I'm going to walk for as long as I like and then I'm going to turn around and walk back. With no pressure, the doing will be easier to actually do because you haven't got expectations and it will be more pleasurable. So have a very doing week. Write your list. I'm going to, after this podcast, I'm actually going to go and write my list of what the doing is. And if you're anything like I am, when I achieve things and do things, I actually feel better as well. For example... Today I got up, it's a Sunday today. And I'm like, yeah, I'll do my podcast today because I was busy yesterday and I couldn't do them. This is bringing me happiness, this is bringing me joy and I'll set it all up and put it on SoundCloud and all my blogs. And that will be something that I'm doing that creates happiness in my day today because I'm on my own today. So it's kind of important for me to inject some happiness in the day in other ways than being with other people. And that's the other thing, if you're quite lonely, you might find that you have to like self-medicate in a sense and self-soothe yourself with your doing happy things for yourself. I'm wishing you lots of love and light and I'm hoping that with these podcasts you can start focus on bringing more happiness into your life and then also in the lives of other people, so doing for yourself and doing for them. And I uh, wish you a good week.